Now, now the safety's on. Uh, do, do you know how to switch it off? I do. Okay, you just... You gotta respect it. This is not... Oh, okay. Ellie is strapped and ready for battle. I'm so happy she finally has a gun to help out. Let's go check out this one area we haven't been to yet. This was the area where the guy was on the balcony. And from the dialogue of these guys before we attacked them in the last video, they talked about, you know, the boss and everything like that. So I think that we're still going to have one last big battle before we get out of Pittsburgh. They obviously have a base camp somewhere. If they have a boss or a leader that's leading all these um, different outfits and groups. This is their area to protect and watch, and then we already ran into that ambush group. So we'll have to wait and see. I wonder how many more obstacles we're going to have to overcome before we can finally get out of Pittsburgh and continue our quest to find the Fireflies and head out west. <clears throat> Alright, do your thing, Ellie. On it. Ugh, stupid chain is stuck. Uh, Hold on. I am. There. It's good thinking. There's Ellie playing with her knife again. They need to give give her something else to do. She keeps cleaning that blade off and she hasn't used it yet. Alright, this is the way to go. We'll boost Ellie up. She'll probably drop a ladder down or something. It's not giving me the option, so... Oh, let's use the cart. That's probably what we have to use. Help me open this. Here. You got it. I didn't have a ton of options for the upgrading table. I need to get the next required set of tools before I can upgrade a lot of the guns. But I was able to upgrade the rifle a little bit. Oh shit, get down, get down. Couple of days, huh? <sighs> Whatever, man. Damn, no food, no pair of shoes. We got nothing. Let's go. So the hunters have some major firepower. They have a Humvee, and I think they got a 50 cal or some type of machine gun mounted on the top. And man, they are just killing anything that moves. They killed those people, and they had that dude mounted on the front of the truck. That was messed up. Well, at least they finally killed that couple. I was sure they made it out of the city. Now we need to find a fucking pickup for a duel. Could have been an army in that truck. How the fuck did they wipe out the entire crew over there? Let's keep searching. I want to wrap this up before sundown. Oh, holy shit, Joel! You're a dead ass. Well, that was super easy. They just funneled into that stairwell one by one and got smoked one by one. So it sounds like there's a huge search party out for us. We're known as the duo from the truck. And these hunters are absolutely relentless. We've ran into a bunch of different groups of them that are protecting different parts of Pittsburgh. And after seeing that Humvee that they had, 
you know we're about to run into that thing at some point in time on our way out of Pittsburgh. Thinking about it now, those smoke bombs that we got, those are going to come in super handy if we run into the Humvee in a firefight because there's no way that we're going to be able to shoot through the truck with the guns we have. And I don't think we'll be able to disable the truck. Maybe with a bomb we could, um, but I'm not sure. What is this, Twilight? Dawn of the Wolf Part 2. We got Hugh Jackman as Wolverine and Kristen Stewart. I never saw those garbage movies, but man, I heard they sucked ass. It's got word from the east side crew. Amazing shit. What about Mark? Yeah, they're driving through that area now. Maybe they'll flush him out. I pray to God these tours show this thing. Fuck, they gotta show up somewhere. Maybe this will be your lucky day. These guys got a couple tripwire bombs set up. There's one right there in that hallway, and there's another one outside by that car. Joel, there's a guy up on that second floor right there. Thanks for the late breaking news, Ellie. I already saw those scrubs when we first turned the corner. And let's make sure to gear up. We got everything kind of at full max except for health packs. We got bombs, smoke, we got Molotov cocktails. And let's take a look around, see if we can see anybody. I know that there's guys up on that balcony. I heard two guys talking, so let's loop back around and take them out first because they got the high point. Yeah, I see him. Stay low. Okay, so I see one guy. I know there's got to be two because they were having a full-on conversation. I think we just have two up top. This should be pretty easy if they're spaced out. If not, might hit them with a bomb or a Molotov cocktail. And there was another tripwire right there by that car. Oh, look at this. We got a guy right above us, shotgun. And he looks like he's just standing there by himself. So let's get our Robin Hood on and take this guy out quietly. Man. Yeah. Too fucking close. <laughs> what? Shut up, Ellie. We're like three feet from this guy. What is she blabbing about? <laughs> this game is hilarious. Oh, he's got body armor on. That juked us. It's more than one arrow. That's weak. Ellie's officially a better shot than Joel. I didn't hit that guy one time. She shot him, I think, and that's why he dropped his Molotov cocktail. She's been sharpshooting. Here it comes! Man, it was way more packed up here than I thought. There was multiple enemies up here, way more than two. I think there was four or five. And look at that, we have one guy down there searching for us somewhere outside. And that was crazy. There was way more guys than I thought. I was glad we were prepared with a bunch of supplies. We have three guys down there searching for me. So this looks like it's another main checkpoint that we're going to have to go through. A mob attack note. Wow. Okay, well that was a quick read, but if you read that, it looks like these dudes are these dudes are just cold-blooded killers. From that note, it said that they doused a bunch of military personnel in gasoline and burned them alive, and it sounds like they made that guy watch whoever wrote that note. Ah, man, that is just crazy to think about. These guys are absolutely off their rockers 
So we need to put them in the ground. They're causing trouble and killing innocent people. We saw them gun down that couple earlier with their Humvee. So let's wipe out this entire group. I'm tired of these hunters. I'm tired of Pittsburgh. Let's get out of here and let's get to the West Coast. These guys are searching everywhere for us. They can't find us. Let's kind of feel them out and see what they do. I'm going to pull out the shotgun just in case we got to go loud because they are pretty close together. These guys are scared. They're scrambling behind cover. They don't know what's coming to them. It's the two-man army of Joel and Ellie. Ellie's got a gun and she's a sharpshooter. She's way more accurate than I am. Probably because it's computer controlled. Yeah, poke your head out. Right here! Excuse me. Savage Starlight. That comic I've been reading? The hero says after a big battle. Endure and survive. Okay. Man, Ellie was kind of throwing off my rhythm a little bit because she shot him and then he would flinch or move a different way as I was shooting him. Truck note. Let's see though. This is probably about that Humvee they got. Yeah, they got a 50 cal on there. That thing's gonna do damage now. Look at this tank. I'd want that. Jeez. I guess this is how it ended for this zone. Well, every battle's got a losing side. What if they have families? Everyone has a family. Best not to dwell on it. How can you not? That's what we need right there is that tank. That would be so fun to be able to drive that around and shoot the gun and just blow these hunters up. That's what they need to do. They need to let us drive a military vehicle. I, that's what we should have been stealing as a military vehicle to get across the United States. Yes, we haven't gotten a shiv door, it seems like, in forever. There you go. The shiv door coming through again. They never fail to help you stock up and resupply. What is that on the ground? Is that a, a band-aid or something? Well, we can't pick that up. But yeah, they help you retool and make sure that you can max out all these areas. Make sure you have three of each. And I love these shiv doors. It's always worth it to burn a shiv to open up a door. Because they hook you up. Hey, get me up there. Here. Okay. Come on. There you go. I should have hit up Ellie with that ladder glitch. That's probably been one of the best parts of this game so far. I did it to Bill. I did it to Tess. Next time I get an opportunity, I'm going to do that ladder glitch. This game freaks out if you try to climb the ladder first. Almost there. Look at 
look at that huge poster for Twilight. The marketing team was not messing around. What do we got here? A preparatory school? I stayed at a place like this, back in the Boston QZ. Military preparatory school. <laughs> yeah, nice way of saying orphanage. I wonder what happened to all these kids. Well, this place has been out for a good stretch. They ain't kids no more. Meaning they're either hunters trying to kill us or they're dead. Let's go check out this Twilight movie poster. And we'll see if Kristen Stewart actually shows some emotion in it. Hey, there's another one. Yep, Kristen Stewart is stone-faced as always. These posters are everywhere. I saw this right before the outbreak. He did? Does he totally gutter by the end? <laughs> Nobody gets gutted. It's a, it's a dumb teen movie. Who dragged you to see it, then? I don't know. Let's just stay focused, all right? All right. Sarah dragged Joel to see Twilight. That blows. Wow, it's that fucking truck. It's all right. Just keep your head down. Bacon in a can? Is that a real thing? I'm gonna have to Google that. That sounds absolutely disgusting. And that's just still good. When you make it looks like we are kind of surrounded by these guys. We got the truck out front, and we have two guys in this room. We're going to have to go through them, kill these guys, and maybe throw out the smoke. We got three guys now. I think I'm going to, yeah, let's take this guy out outside first. What the hell was that? Frickin' Ellie running into trees. That was close. Let's go check out the store. Maybe this will be the best place to throw the smoke and run across. Uh oh. Look they shooting at him. Ellie, get the flip out of the way! Oh my gosh, Ellie almost got me killed. Alright, this is going to be the game plan. I'm going to lob, lob one of the smoke bombs over this van and get it in front of where the Humvee's at. And then after I throw it, we'll watch what it does and then we're going to sprint across this street to that other building. Heads up. Ah, that throw was garbage. It wasn't even close to being in front of it. I think I'm just going to make a run for it. I'm not going to waste another bomb. Let's go. How much 50 cal ammo do these dudes have? Shooting non-stop. I 
I see that window right there. That's definitely the way we're going to go. Let's gear up real quick, though, make sure we got as much stuff made as we can, just in case. I got three smoke bombs left, so that's good. Time to dip. Let's roll. Man, these dudes are coming out of everywhere, out of the back alleys. It's gonna be another sprint. Put on the boosties! Uh, I don't know if it, it sounded kind of like the vehicle was about to break through that gate. Man, that would suck. These dudes are all over us. Looks like... Oh, I thought that was a guy. It's just the Humvee. Yeah, okay, it definitely did break through the gate then. I don't know where this building goes. Kind of looks like we're trapped. Let's check these rooms, see if there's any supplies around. I don't know where we're going to go. We're probably going to go out a window, maybe. There's nothing in here. Ellie hide behind that desk. She's ready to go. Oh, there was some ammo. Alright, looks like we're going to be going out that window right there, up the steps. And I know that Humvee, yeah, the Humvee's right there. So we're going to have to lob a smoke bomb out the window. Hopefully a little bit better than the first one. That smoke bomb works perfectly. But it looked like the hunters and that Humvee were backing up. They might be trying to circle around and cut us off. I don't know where this building comes out at, but I'm assuming they do. And I like this. This kind of takes me back to Uncharted. We're scaling buildings a little bit. This game has a really good soundtrack. They've had some really good... Um, songs that they've played. They played that Hank Williams song. That was a good pick for kind of the situation. And then this little dramatic music they got going is, it's tight. Push it. We're okay. They can't see us. Just take it easy. It's all right. They're not the bad guys. L lower the gun. Man, you hit hard. Yeah, well, I was <laughs> trying to kill you. Yeah, I thought you were one of them, too. Then I saw you. If you haven't noticed, they don't keep kids around. Survival of the fittest. You're bleeding. Ah, it's just nothing. I'm Henry. This is Sam. I think I caught your name was Joel. Ellie. How many are with you? They're all dead. Hey, we don't know that. There were a bunch of us. Someone had the brilliant idea of entering the city. Look for supplies. Those fuckers they ambushed us. <clears throat> Scattered us. Now it's all about getting out of this shithole. We can help each other. Ellie. Safety in numbers and all that. She's right. We could help each other. We got a hideout not too far from here. Be safer if we chat there. All right, take us there. <laughs> 